The National Food Suppliers Association has given the government up to Thursday, July 20, 2023, to pay arrears owed them. Now, according to the association, government has reneged on its promise to settle the debt on Monday. Although the government, through the Agric Ministry, has assured that funds have been released for payment to be made by Wednesday, July 19, the Food Suppliers Association says if by Thursday they do not receive payment, they would resume picketing. There is more in this report by City News' Eno Safo. In the clear roadmap, the bigger issue is how do we make their business better? Because the way they currently do their business, it's not, it's, not, it's not sustainable. If they continue like this, this problem will continue to persist. Because it, they, they should tell you how they do their business. I, I, I see. The way that anybody can you know, present these papers uh, that have supplied food and just on the face of it, compile it and pay. I don't think the government of the Republic of Ghana can behave in that way, in that way between mm. itself and its suppliers. Mm. And these things will cause delays. But luckily, a lot has been reconciled. Uh, payment has been uh, is being processed for them, and it will be uh, uh, paid them. I think from from the 17th, they will begin to receive their money. That was the Minister for Agriculture, Brian Echampo, assuring members of the National Food Suppliers Association of paying their arrears from Monday, July 17. However, on the expected day for payment. Authorities did not fulfill the end of their bargain. We all summoned our members across all the regions for them to come for their checks today. Only to be told by the buffer stock CEO that, CEO that he has not received any money to that effect. And he's still expecting the money. And he went further to say that he does not and he will not deal with an association. We, we see that comment as unfortunate. Unfortunate to the extent that the people he wants to deal with individually are the same people put together called an association. So whether he deals with us as an association or deals with us as an individual, it's the same thing we are asking him to do. This is, this is a group of the same people he wants to deal with individually who have come together to form a formidable force to demand for their money. We don't require validation or acceptance from anybody from any quarters before we can project and protect our interest. All we are, we are asking them to do is to pay the individual suppliers who have supplied food staff to buffer stock over two years, whose interests have accumulated, whose creditors are chasing them left, right, center to have their monies paid. That is what we are asking them. Unhappy about the situation, the food suppliers at a press conference gave the government until Thursday, July 20, to pay their arrears or they will resume picketing. The interest on, the, on those monies is accumulating. And creditors are on our necks. Now, the media, everybody is on us. And everybody who, who, who matter in this credit, in, in this our business, they are listening to us and knowing that we are collecting money. So if a portion of that money is given to us, how are we going to disperse those money? How much are we going to give to who? And how are we going to take care of other commitments we have? It's not as if they are going to give the money with interest. And it is not as if we are still in the business. We've been stripped of the business. And so uh, Katesi demands that we be, given, we be given our full payment. And so as we said, we are not accepting half payment or any percentage short of the full payment. Failure to give us the money as promised the last time, which is today, we will resume the picketing. We will resume the picketing with our dependents, meaning our, our children, our wives and husbands, our creditors, and we will pack, we will relocate our homes into buffer stock to drive home our demand for full settlement of our money. The National Food Suppliers Association have given government a Thursday 20th July ultimatum to pay the arrears owed them, otherwise they will resume picketing with their dependents. For City News, my name is Inusafo.